Hi, I'm Fernanda Mota, and we are in my apartment here in New York City. I grew up in the city called Campos. It's the countryside of Rio de Janeiro. And the city is very quiet. It's a um, university city. There's a lot like students there and not much to do, but I love it because my family is there and all my friends and my nephew, my niece, which is like the love of my life, the lovers of my life. And I was just a little like study girl. I love to study. I didn't have boyfriends and I was just like a nerd kind of thing, <laughs> which is, that was a long time ago. <laughs> I was discovered by this guy, um, he's a um, scouter in Brazil and he saw me in the beach, of course, more cup. What else? Um, he was following me for three months and he was really begging me to be a model and I was crying, crying. Like, I don't want to be a model, what is that? I don't want to be a model, I want to act, I want to be acted. I don't, so he was trying so hard and finally he convinced me to try. My mom says like, you have to try, otherwise you're gonna regret one day that you never try. So I went to Sao Paulo and then I start to like it and I start to work a lot and here I am. My first photo shoot was a test, of course, because they thought I was beautiful, but they had to, you know, to try on camera. And I wasn't really not worried about it. I wasn't really nervous about it because I didn't think it was working out. <laughs> so I was just like, whatever, let's just have fun. I don't know if it's gonna work anyway, but it did. And then right away, like in the same week, I got a cover of this magazine called Claudia in Brazil. And after I got, I don't know, seriously, I don't remember and I really don't know how I got that. I got so lucky because it's not really easy to get a cover in Brazil. And I did, after a week I did, and I, that's why I think I start to like because I was like, oh my God, I just got a cover. My modeling career starts really fast, but at the same time, I went through all these, you know, situations that the models um, normally go through. Like, you know, sometimes you didn't work, sometimes, you know, get some weights, and then you get lonely. And I went through all these things. It wasn't really like the easiest modeling career ever, which I think is a really, a blesser, blessing, 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 because you know I learned a lot from that. So now I'm gonna show you guys my one of my fa one of few of my favorite clothes. I don't have much as you see, but this is my closet, and of course I'm a very girly girl and I have a lot of dresses. I love that. So let me see what I can, I like this. You know, I, have a, I like this one. It's a very girly thing, it's very Brazilian. Most of my stuff, it's Brazilian. Yeah, I got that in Brazil. Most of them I got in Brazil. Now this is a guy in Paris, but let me see. You see, very colorful. I love this one too. Let me see what else I can show you. I love prints, I think it's very, like happy kind of thing and i'm a very happy person very brazilian i love summer i like this dress this is american but i really like the color it's very me very me by the way colorful things look this is a beach thing that's the one i really like it i bought here in new york but it's very good with my skin because i get tan with that I like, I like things like that too, you know, I think it's very cool. Oh, I have so many things, if I can spend the whole afternoon show you guys what I have, you know, those things. I love shoes. These are the, my last shoe that I bought. Very sexy. High heels always. Only in the winter time that it's really complicated, you know, to step in the... 
I love flats. Flats. I have, as you see, I have every color kind of thing because it's good to travel with and it's very cute. High heels all over, always like black. That's one of my favorite ones, uh, you know, Sergio Rossi because it's very high and I like those too. I'm the kind of girl that takes whatever looks good on me and I feel comfortable. I don't really have, I don't really have to have a design clothes. I like comfortable and cute clothes. I think if you have a great shoes, if you have a great bag, you don't need anything else if you don't have time to. But if you have time, of course, you need a dress or everything. But you know, like if you put a white shirt and you know the cliche thing, the white shirt and the jeans, and you get you have a great bag and great shoes, you're done. You know. So I have a lot of bags. I didn't buy all of them together like in the same time. I have few bags here. Oh, it's not even coming out. You know, I have my clutches here. You know, every single... I love bags like that. You know, like this. Like this. My Chanel bags. I love clocks like that. This. And, of course, I have the... You know, Fancy ones to go to the party. Yeah. I love different colors. I'm very open to a different stuff. Um, my whole career was always about like let it, things happen. So I did this cover. The, my first big job was the cover and then after that I start to do some castings like every models do and then after that I start to travel a lot I went to Paris to Milan to Germany to even like Chile I went everywhere like I've been traveling all over the world and doing the trips that models do normally like stay three months to try you know the new um, the new country the new work so I went to I went back to Brazil. I was like always back and forth to Brazil, and then one day in New York, an agency in New York called me to try New York. I spent like about two months here, and then I decided to move like really moved here. So I sold my apartment in São Paulo, and I came to New York. I went to castings all the time, you know, traveling all over the world, you know, going back home. My family was really supportive. I think it, in this business, if you really want to be successful, first of all, you have to speak English, <laughs> by the way. You really have um, to be very professional. You really have to think this is the business, important business. It's not only a party or just like a funny thing to do it. You know, there's a lot of things behind your picture. You know, a lot of people, um, working, you know, with families and stuff. So I always think about that. It's very important to try hard, you know, because you learn and then you're gonna do better. That's for sure. And it's not only about beauty. It's about hard work. It's about how you move. It's about you know the things that you learn and you put in the picture or in your commercial, or whatever, and try to sell better things and introduce yourself great. There's a lot of things that the girl has to do it, but especially she really have to love what she does. Like, I love what I do. I really love what I do, and that's why I believe I'm getting to what I am right now. Like, I have to, you know, have a passion, because when you do love something, you do great. York wasn't really different because it's a big city and I'm a city girl. I'm from Rio, you know, I love the sun to go, you know, swim and everything, but I'm a city girl. I really love it. I love Sao Paulo, for example. I used to live in Sao Paulo, not in Rio. So I actually came with my husband, which is like, makes me, makes really easier, you know, when you have someone to support, of, you know, to support you all the time. 
and I had a lot of friends who was living here at the time. So it was great, and the city is awesome. I really love New York, and I don't believe that besides Brazil, I have any other place to live. So I'm very happy here. Besides modeling, I have restaurants, and I do a TV show in Brazil called Brazil's Next Top Model. It's the version of America's Next Top Model here. And I, I do for the whole South America and also uh, Mexico and North, and North America. But um, before that was the restaurant. Before the show, I did we built up this, the restaurant in Florianopolis. It's a little island in Brazil, in south of Brazil. And that was the first restaurant that we have. And it's a beach club, and then it's awesome. It's very fun. And we do a lot of parties in the summer. It's mostly summertime. We keep open the whole year, but it's mostly summertime. And now we have another restaurant in Sao Paulo because we really like to have restaurants. So we have in Sao Paulo another one called Three by Four, and it's a different type. It's that like the the restaurant is the whole picture kind of looking like every wall. It's a picture. Which is, there's nothing to do with me being a modeling, I guess. Anyway, so after that, I been I got invited to try the test for Brazil's Next Top Model here in LA. I did the casting here, and I got the show here, which is was fun. So I'm doing both, three, three things: modeling, hosting, restaurants, and we're building a resort too. And I have a restaurant here in New York. The modeling word came to me for a reason, I'm sure about that, because it prepares me to do everything that I'm doing right now. And like, first of all, if I wasn't a model, I could never meet my husband, which is like, would be a bad thing. Anyway, so like, to travel in the world, to learn another language, and to, because when you're a mo your model, you have to, you know, to learn how to speak with the people, speak with the camera, you know, to do castings, how to present yourself with, you know. So you will learn a lot. And then in this business, what I am now, like hosting, modeling, and business, uh, restaurant business, we need to really to know how to talk to people, introduce yourself, you know, get to know uh, stories and whatever. I don't even know how to say right now, but um, if I wasn't a model, definitely I will never get what I am right now. So it's like, I love to be a model, it's great. I believe like modeling is not only about to be beautiful or take any pictures. I believe modeling is about uh, to represent something and to try to sell that thing. And you, like for example, if the client chooses you to be in the, this um, campaign. That means that you are the one like who can represent that company. You're the one that is going to sell and tell people to trust you to buy that thing. So this is amazing, first of all. And then that's why I think models normally go uh, from modeling work like work like this, like catalogs and Victoria's Secret, Sports Illustrated, whatever, and they go straight to like new projects, like selling things that, with um, their own names and stuff, because they, you know, they learn that they can sell things. I remember when I first started to be a model, the business was so smaller, and they didn't really knew about this. And I believe, like, from that time to now, which is, I don't think I'm gonna tell you how long is that. Um, I think the business grows so much and then the opportunities to do th different things and go good stuff uh, grow so much and I believe that's why we trying to do like different stuff because I have the power and we know how to do it that and long time ago I don't believe people really think about it uh, they didn't get have this opportunity to do it or even try it and then now I think is the, the time to do it that's why I see all these models doing this different type of things like me. I really like that. It's very me. Uh, that's a different me. <laughs> um, hmm, different. We need to 
I do a lot of veins. Long hair. Let me see what else I can show you from here. That is one of my favorite sports illustrated picture. This one. That was my first one. And that was, I don't even remember, because I did four times. Here was Tahiti. And it was amazing. The water there, it's like something else. Something else. It was very fun to do it. The, uh, the crew was amazing. Every, every time I did a sports street, it was amazing. <sighs> That's very me too when I'm lazy. Me too. Let's see what else. I love those kind of, because I think I look good on this, you know, old kind of style thing, like movie. I really like it. If you want to be a model, you have to find the right person to take your career, you know, to take over your career. So it's a very important thing.